Here is how to use the Brightspace course shell to find the information you need for your class. When you first get onto Brightspace, it will look something like this. Um, the first thing you want to do is select the class you want to choose. And this right here, this waffle selects the class. So if you click on this, you'll get a list of your classes. And my classes look a little unusual since I'm an instructor. But what you want to do is choose your class. So I'm going to choose 1120 chemistry. And that brings us to our class. Slowly, depending on the speed of your computer. Um, so on this welcome page, you'll start, you'll see announcements, instructor information, and calendar. So those pop right, right up. And then along this top ribbon is some other options. So the coursework, um, if you click on that, going to the content, that's where you'll get all the information for the class and that's where, you, where you'll spend most of your time. Communication has, you can view the announcements and the video platform is where we can meet for office hours. And whether video or, or Zoom depends on what your instructor will choose. Grades, you can see it in class progress or grade format. We won't be using ePortfolio. Uh, CNM resources are really important. The student resources give information um, like the tutoring center and um, other important student information. And the online student resources give you information specifically to being a DL student, um, new student orientation for DL students, and so forth is there. CNM libraries is another source that you may want to look at. And then here is the help button. So let's go to coursework and choose content. And let me show you what the content of the class looks like. Let's start with Overview and Syllabus. So you click on Overview and Syllabus, and you find this brief description of the course. And here is the complete syllabus. And it's really important to read the syllabus. So you can read it from here. You can print it. You can download it. On the syllabus, as you slide down, there's a schedule. And I think this page is particularly important. And I encourage you to print this page and use it as a checklist. So here it is, the spring schedule. It lists all the assignments and when they're due, and you can just check them off and be sure you've completed everything you need to for the class. So read the syllabus so you understand the course. Then we go to the table of contents. We have a day one. So let me click on that. And what you'll find here, um, we call these learning modules. And this first one, and all of them will start with an agenda. So if you click on the agenda, you'll see the list of items you need to do while you're in this learning module. And so here's our list. Um, and so you make sure you do those. And then you click back here to go back to the other items in day one. And I won't click on all of them because you can do that yourself. But there's a Brightspace orientation and this video are right here, course information and expectations periodic table. This is very helpful. I recommend you print this periodic table and have it with you. Make notes on it. Use it on your tests. Use it while you're doing your homework. There's many versions of the periodic table and I encourage you to use a lot of them, but this one's something you can just have and mark up. Student resources, similar to the tab above. The recommended textbook problems. This has them all listed um, for the whole semester, but each week we'll also have them. And then there's netiquette policies and some study tips. And it ends with the assignments. So this is the course expectations quiz. You'll want to take this quiz. You get three chances to take the quiz. Be sure you've read the syllabus and the course information first. And then you can take the quiz. And then the backup plan assignment. So these are the two assignments you need to complete for a grade in this learning module. And when you're done with this learning module, you'll go on to week one. What I want to do is click on week two and show you the resources that you will typically find in all the learning modules and talk about how will you accomplish the work for this class. So again, it starts with the agenda. So click on the agenda and see what needs to be completed 
for this day, um, for this week. So it tells you what information you need to study, and then it gives you the assignments. This week there's a discussion to participate in. The discussions, the first post is due on Thursday, and the replies are due by Monday. And you can read more details about that in the syllabus. And then there's the quiz. And the quizzes, you have three tries on the quizzes, um, and they're, you get feedback, so you can learn from your mistakes. And as you read the methods for studying, I'll recommend some things to do there. But that's the quiz, and that's your main graded item each week. And, and so that's what you find in the agenda, the outcomes, the learning objectives, a few tips, and what is due. The next item in the learning module, when we go back to it, is the readings and resources. So in this section, you'll find the information you need to learn the material for the week. It starts with the instructor-specific outline and PowerPoints. So what I've done for my class, and if you're in a different class, it may be slightly different um, if you have a different instructor. I start with something called the concepts and problems. And what this is is a brief outline of what you need to learn this week and some example problems that you should be able to solve once you've learned this material. I think it's a good idea to print this and keep it kind of as a summary. Um, sometimes there's more information than we actually need. It just um, helps you know what's most important to focus on that week. The next item is the lecture PowerPoint. So I have it in two formats, PowerPoint style and PDF, depending on what you can open on your computer. If you can open the PDF, it's slightly better because the problems are done in the style that I put the problem up and then you can try and solve it yourself and you can click through and get feedback as you go. The PDF, it all comes up at once. The information's there, so whatever works for you. It's the same information, just two different formats. Some of the chapters I have made lecture videos and they're based on the PowerPoints. So it's very similar information, but I present it in a lecture style with video and there are um, links to YouTube videos. And so this particular week, there's two of them. Um, there's a part one and a part two. So you can watch those videos as well. Uh, the last link here is a link to the online version of the textbook. And you may have noticed that there's two options for the textbook. There's the TRO textbook that's at the bookstore. That's the recommended book for this class. But if you don't use a book a lot or you prefer to do a free online book, there, there's a, an online book that's also adequate and that's called the Sailor Book. And so this links you to that book and the same material is there. Those are the primary resources for learning the chapter. Then here is the list of the recommended homework problems. So if you are using the TRO textbook, these are the problems. If you are using the online book, um, the Sailor, it's done by section. So it's, it's, it's still chapter two, and then there's problems for each section. The problems are not submitted or graded, but it's really important that you do the problems um, to know that you're learning the material. One of the best ways to learn chemistry is through working problems. So these are good problems that will help you learn. This is followed by other web resources that you might find really helpful. And these are all optional. Um, and there's more than you can probably use. I wouldn't expect you to watch all these videos. Uh, so really focus on the study method that works best for you. If reading the chapter is really helpful to you, focus on that. If watching video lectures is helpful, do that. If, if Khan Academy is best for you, focus on those. If Tyler DeWitt is best, if you like my videos, choose what's best for you and don't waste your time on things that are less helpful. So here I have a section of, since this unit is about math, particularly helpful math reviews. So this is the Khan Academy um, math review for chemistry. And you can see they're listed by their specific topic. And if you're having trouble with any of these topics, I recommend you try these videos. They are accompanied with problems and quizzes. Very helpful. If you've ever used Khan Academy, they're a great resource. So you can use those if you're needing help with the math. 
And then there's a whole bunch of other videos from YouTube and other sources. One of our instructors has made step-by-step -step videos. Um, here's one on significant figures, unit conversions, densities. So these avail are all available for you if you find them helpful. So watch as many or as few of them as you feel is needed. So these are the resources. If we go back to the learning module, the next item that we find is the um, handouts. And not all sections will have handouts, but sometimes I have some handouts that I think might be useful. And so these are links to different metric conversion, unit analysis, uh, worksheet, squaring the conversion factor. So if you're struggling in any of these areas, you might find one of these handouts helpful so you can access them, print them, use them if you find them useful. Going back to the learning module, the next things in items in the learning modules, we have the discussion. So this week we have a discussion. You click here to participate in the discussion. And then again, we have a quiz. So you click here for the quiz. And so that's basically how the class will work. Each week you go through the learning module and um, refer to the resources and take the quiz. Do the discussion if there is one. Some units have exams. So you see week four has an exam. Um, week six has a midterm. And of course, at the end, we have a final. And you can find more details about these in the learning modules and in the syllabus. So I hope this helps you see how the class goes. And if you have any questions, be sure to email your instructor.